get into a fight. Uh, I finished No Straits Roads a couple of days ago. It was pretty a fun game. And, uh, yeah. People screaming in the background. They were literally never screaming until just now. Literally when I clicked the live stream button. But, let me get some water and we'll begin. Lord knows, I need this water. <laughs> Over the amount of reading I'm about to do. Okay, let us begin. Whenever the Ouroboros snake dragon creature is done consuming itself. Be ready to begin. There he is, boys. John Han. I have this one of the DLCs. I don't know how to activate it, though. I won't worry about it too much. I'm probably too low level to even do it, actually. Alright. Get a bit more comfortable. One moment. last left off we were trying to go up a mountain to uh talk to the high priestess with our boy Maliaclus who is apparently not in uh good cahoots with uh the high priestess oh no my sound alerts are not implemented correctly we'll have to get that fixed soon I was uh doing a bit of editing that's unfortunate We'll get that fixed later. I probably have to do it from Streamlabs. Uh, so no woes for today. <laughs> I think that's like the only thing I had on there. That's unfortunate. But anyways, let us begin. Will you push on despite nature itself attempting to thwart you? Yeah, I forgot I could put the uh, thing in a better spot. Well, I mean, no awards as in you can't do the audio awards. You could do manual awards. I don't know why Sound Alert gave me a notification. I thought that was you doing that. Anyways, <clears throat> a sudden blizzard slows your progress through Mount Fredris. Freydris. Freydris? I'm gonna say Freydris. Because I kept saying Freydris. Last time. Uh, the bitter winds pierce your skin like shards of glass. Well, let's go. Do -do 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 -do. Probably gonna get injured going up through the blizzards. No? Witches I will tolerate. They have Why? at least stepped into the streams of power that magicians call home. Ah. As you ascend the snowy mountain. Uh, Freitas, you happen upon a cottage with pungent smoke wafting uh, out of the chimney. <clears throat> a frail old lady sweeping snow off the path uh, beckons you to come in. We've come, but oh wait, oh. <laughs> we've come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message, says Mali Eclipse. Uh, you better go bearing blessings if you want to get on the high priestess's good side. I'm fixing a batch right now if you like a taste. Uh, if you got it right this time, uh, you could take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. My Eclipse politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, uh, nudging you forward. Uh-oh. Uh, that one. Whoops. You sip, you take a sip of the putrid potion and you feel your stomach churn. I knew I shouldn't have substituted the cloud berries for bog berries, she says, confronting you. Choose the righteous path and you'll find uh, blessings on your way, I'm sure. You step outside into the blistering cold and continue the mountain bridge. 
At least I didn't get, you know, cursed or something. <laughs> you died. <laughs> hey, at least she wasn't like a bad witch. She seemed to be like friendly. She was just, you know, cooking up a stew in the middle of the snow, cleaning up the place. She just screwed up the potions up. With the least of notice, the very lands beneath your feet can slide away. High up Life on the mountain. It's filled with surprises. I like the voice actor, or the, the voice guy now. Sounds a lot different. A little bit different, but still the same. Uh, high up on the mountain, you see a silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the roaring wind. Hidden ra raiders spring down the mountain with the dexterity of mountain goats. Oh, this again. Sacrifice your companion to discard a monster card? Uh. No. But yes. But no. We don't have to. He'll come back like three turns later, but like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I don't know. If I think he'll be gone the entire quest. I think I don't know. Don't actually need unless he ends up getting killed by himself. I don't know. He seems like a cool character. At, for, at the beginning of the game, he was annoying, but I believe he's starting to grow on me. <laughs> Trapper. Good lord, DVDs everywhere, man. On the frozen plains, prey are few and far between. The keen eyes of the trapper see all. Trappers throw hunting traps that snare their targets, use a bait to avoid the traps, or change direction rapidly to break free. Who dares venture? Not less than the amazing Phalaclips! Who earned assistance? <laughs> Whoops, I thought that was a, a finisher. That was my special. Excuse me, that. Also, if you get hit, you lose your uh, your ability skill. Your skills, your like weapons. <laughs> An annoying low team killer. Yeah, no matter where I go now, DPD is just everywhere. Deft eye, slow spin, reduce the speed of a wheel gambit. Oh, that's a new thing. We haven't encountered that, you know, thing. Uh, permanent blessing. Okay. The clash of steel rings out, echoing through the peaks of the mountains. Uh, answer with a low, ominous rumble as the walls of white rushes towards the, the melee. See if we go everything gets past. Oh. Dice uh. are a constant reminder of death. No, me. The singular is die, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> and they are often called bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, oh. however, they may also bring a touch of life. Made these out of bone. Uh oh. Uh, I'd like to respin this and this, please. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. Me too. The avalanche engulfs you, uh, tossing you weightlessly down the mountain. Out. Uh, your assailant's weapon juts from the snow as you near 
He realizes it's still clenched in his hands, his body buried to the wrist by the avalanche. Yeah, we'll take him out. Get some of them fame points, you know? Uh, he braves the cold to free the raider from his icy grip. He takes a moment to catch his breath and says, You saved me! Uh, take my blessing. Leave me to my thoughts. Oh, yeah! Okay, okay, okay. After all your re-rolls in a dice gambit, re-roll your lowest die. Oh, I'm gonna bless it. So saving him actually gave me a blessing. That was neat. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust. More's the pity. Hmm. The Temple of Divine Providence uh, provides blessings in exchange for a simple gold donation. Make a donation. Uh. Oh, what the... Gambler's Banquet, I guess? I don't know. Receive plus two food after every dice gambit. Okay. Sounds nice. Your max life is less than 150. You may discard food gain or equipment. Gain cards receive plus five max life. No. Beggar's Charm. Gain up to 20 gold at the beginning of a new map if you have less than 20 gold. Allies return. Revive your companion at the beginning of each new camp. Any number of blessings can be equipped at one time. I like this one. This one's affordable. It's just a free blessing, okay? We're almost done, actually. You leave with your new blessing. You lose six gold. Mages are hard to eradicate the best of times. We have our ways of hiding from the light. Token is in it for me. Uh, following Mali Eclipse's cryptic descriptions, many of which involve borrowing farm animals, <laughs> uh, you arrive at the edge of a vast and lonely lake. There, you uncover a cave entrance blocked by a stone door. We must seek out Ira of the Vale of the Vale uh, in the underneath. Uh, the bard he had explained. As you follow a frigid, a frightened cow on the previous night. Why are you seeking this woman? Alexis drops his wine bottle nervously and forces a loud and hearty laugh, completely ignoring your question. Uh, the best, the, the spectacled ogre man, manning the door to the underneath. <laughs> Doesn't look up from his book as you approach. Fifteen food items per entry, he grunts. Oh. That dang it, is that thirty food I have to give him? Malikip scoffs. Robbery. You're trying to hustle us, sir. I'll have you know that I could shoot lightning from my fingertips. Doorkeeper sighs. Times are hard for us. Uh Mal, you'll see when you get in there. Fine. It's only fifteen. He's probably got some food. The ogre paces. Uh, place this book down with a mighty push. Uh, the stone door rolls open. A narrow tunnel takes you deep below the earth, uh, opening into a vast limestone cavern. Uh, twinkling on the edge of an underground lake lies a small shanty town, bright lanterns lining the, quest, the quiet streets. Mali Eclipse uh, leads on. Welcome to the underneath, coin slave. Uh, since the bothersome empire uh, edict, you've had to hide away in places like this. This used to be quite the hub of activity, but now, he surveys the silent streets grimly. I guess the empire is increasing its forces. A few mages eye you suspiciously as they pass by. Um, I guess. Let's pursue the stores real quick. Maybe there's something cool here. Among the abandoned stalls, you'll find an ancient-looking shop. Fun. Uh, through red lantern light, uh, you read Lilots, ornaments, uh, use stones, direction. <laughs> there are also signs pointing out uh, a path to curses, or cure curses blessing. Uh. Let's just return to the town center so we don't get lost. 
Let's go talk to Ira. Maybe we can go back later. My eclipse leads the way to the dim, lonely streets of Ira's house. You can hear screaming <laughs> coming from within. A woman in robes adorned with silver ornaments greets you at the door. Uh, Mark said you'd come begging for help regardless. You are late. Maniclips bows with a grin. I have an illness. I am hoping to purchase a cure. Ira of the Vale frowns for a bit before nodding and letting you into her house. You enter the sitting room and the source of the wailing is made clear. A man is locked in a cage crying in fevered agony. Uh, sores of corruption fester on his body. Oh. Without warning, she opens the cage and the man rushes at you. But with surprising strength, Ira subdues the mad, writhing creature. This is the mage, uh, Cohen. Uh, Cohen. Uh, he thought he could fight off the corruption, but he could not. Ira watches my eclipse carefully as Cohen's cries get more and more guttural. What should I do with him? The bard looks away, disgust and fear in his face. He appears uh, close to passing out. She nods before turning to you. What will you do? Uh. Uh. Should I kill the mage or should I lock him up? Uh. Huh. Don't know. Put him out of his misery and see if there's a way to save him. What do you think, Flat Kitchen? My man, my man, screaming in the cage like a madman. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just keep him in the cage for now. Ho, 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 you make our poor apprentice. Cultivate focus. Oh, shut up. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's try that, then. She throws the creature back into the cage and locks the iron gate. Then you wait. Malaclips makes a feeble joke about going to get some, uh, can candied buns from the show or for the show with a writhing glance from Ira convinces him to stay. The prison mage begins to deteriorate quickly. Sores of corruption spread across his body and blood begins to pour from his mouth. As he throws himself at the cage from the umpteen time, you know no shred of humanity remains. Ira flings an in Enchanted shard of ice from her hand into the corrupted mage's throat, killing him instantly. You're too weak. Uh, she glances at Mad Eclipse, who is staring wide eyed at the dead mage, the both of you. With that dealt with, Ira begins tinkering at the table, uh, strewn with dread, uh, dead and shiny things. I do have a cure, but as you know, nothing comes free with our kind. She taps silver dust from a bottle. Save the stolen Save the stolen mage children for me and I will give you the cure. Nicely done. Oh. Okay. He, he was gonna die anyways, it seems. Uh those Empire bastards have taken them to some walled fort in the docks of the city. And you better hurry, I already smiles at Maniclips that endless can't be held at bay for much longer, I'd wager. The bard avoids her gaze. How do you know about Eclipse? Uh, he's my lover when I was young and stupid. <laughs> this is, uh, matter of factly. Okay. Nonsense, my Eclipse shouts. Why am I alluring at all ages? You bet. <laughs> You'd be glad to have me still. Ira gives my Eclipse a <laughs> severe look. And he uh, blacks cowering, <laughs> cowering uh, in his seat. All right. What is this illness? Ira laughs. He hasn't told you that it's not my place to say. 
but uh, know this, a friend of Mad Eclipse. Uh, if he doesn't find a cure soon, you are in a you are in grave danger. Nonsense, Mad Eclipse stands. Uh, unstopping. <laughs> unstoppering a wine bottle nervously. Oh. Okay. Possibly. Uh, Mad Eclipse seems eager to leave. A few mages at you. Okay, so we can just walk around now. So we got the story. Another part of the side quest thingies to do. So I guess the next part of the story, we gotta go gotta get the potion and whatnot. Alright. Uh, let's go to Curse's Blessing. You follow the signs through the lonely streets until they lead to a sizable hill of colorful rags where you believe a market once stood. An elderly woman climbs from the pile. Blessings, curses, you don't need either of them. I'll trade you all of them for this shiny rock, she offers. Oh, uh, it looks like a polished river pebble. Remove all my curses and blessings or just walk away. I'm walking away, chief. Well, I'll be here. <laughs> the shopkeeper sinks back into the pile of a rag from which she came. Uh, let's go to Leelot's uh, Ottomans. Manaclips sniffs and backs away. I'm not allowed in there after I stole all those stupid pebbles. He lets you go on ahead. With a jangle, you enter the dusty store. You find it filled with shelves, baskets, glass cases with rocks of various shapes and sizes. This sounds like my kind of place, really, not gonna lie. Uh, the wise and shopkeep Leelad peers over uh, the counter at you. Inquire about used stones. Inquire about directions. He waves his wrinkled hand at his wares. You will see baskets of giant boulders the size of small boulders, smooth pebbles the size of rough pebbles, and tucked away in corners a basket of rings. Ring. Shaki looks around, uh, found lit uh, at the stones. Uh, what would you like to buy? Everything is 20 gold a piece. Buy a stone that Leelot recommends for 20 gold. Buy a ring. Okay. Screw, we're buying a stone. You might give us the best stone on the lot. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. What in four? What in four? We gotta get that. Gotta, gotta get that stone. I'm thinking it's one. My, my, my gut's telling me one. It's probably two. Uh, that came out of nowhere. So it goes into the deck. Nowhere to be seen. I'm thinking it's four right there. And then it goes to the top. And then it's at one. That's a guess. Because it could have been... Could have been three. If it was three, then it's probably three again. I have no idea. I'm gonna say it's one. Well, I mean, the worst scenario, we, we lose $20. It was four. We allowed to hand you a smooth pebble. This is one of my favorites. Hmm. We're not gonna play the rock game anymore. Far by directions. The wrinkled shopkeep unrolls a dusty map. Uh, that's where the nearest trader is. Ah, yes, there is one here. He drags an ancient finger to a spot on the map. Oh. He added a new location. That's neat. Where's our nearest fight? I want to go fight something. He let peers at the map, dusting part with his shake, shaky, fecaled hands. <laughs> a freckled hand, my bad. No blood will be shed around these parts today. A terrible shame. Huh. Alright, well, let's head out. I don't want to deal with Devil Ears Tavern. It's probably something bad. But you know what? We've lost $20 on a rock. So you know what? Let's just head on to the... My clips uh, breeze in a heady scent of berry wine, smoked and feathers. 
Ah, the devil's ears. The devil's ears. My home away from home. <laughs> he pulls out his loot and leaves to serenade the pretty bartender. She tries her best to ignore him. You survey the bar. A group of burly ogres crowds a uh, too small table. Meanwhile, a giant fleshy eyeball floats somberly by the window. Uh, let's go talk to the eye. The creature watches you approach with interest. A smile breaks out in a knotted flesh at its base. Would you care to dance, small one? It acts solemnly. Ask for a dance. It is a slow circling dance, the creature humming an old harvest song all the while. After some indeterminate amount of time, the dance ends. Ah, the creature sighs. That took me back to my youth. The creature's eyes so large that it is difficult to tell whether it's looking at you or somewhere behind you. That's what it is. The creature chuckles, and the fleshy tendrils on its underbelly shake heartily. Okay. It seems nice. The monsters here seem nice. I have to trade. This is an item that I kept from the last warrior I ate. <laughs> You'd regret to chase an item onto the floor with a chatter or clatter. Oh! What would you like to offer in return? I guess the winter's bane. I don't think the winter's bane's that strong. I mean, it's good, but like. I don't know. I don't need the bash of purification anymore. I don't think. I'll trade him for winter's bane. If only I could see the stats again. I might be able to. No, doesn't look like I can. Darn. Fine, here, take the funny ice sword. It inspects the equipment. Yes, this will be a lovely addition to my collection. Okay, General Grievous. Is it? A remnant of the Templars and their religious righteousness. I don't know how I missed the stats, but I did. Well, alrighty. Leave it be. Let's go talk to the ogre friends. The ogres are arguing uh, jovially about winnings. Uh, they seem to be caught up in some kind of dice gambling game. <gasps> I want to play. Oh, wait. No, go back. I have to play. The largest ogre throws you the dice and pulls out a shimmering scroll containing the blessing you're playing for. <gasps> blessing? Hey! I think it's a good idea to come here. Guardian Angel. Isn't that a good one? In the other game, that was like god tier. You got to do another roll if you screwed up, I think. So it's probably the same thing. Roll 18 and this spell scroll uh, will grant... <laughs> and the spelled scroll will grant to you. Another game betting one dice. One blessing. Oh. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I should play. I'll lose a blessing if I lose. But I'll gain a blessing. Hmm. It's a good blessing. Ah. Uh, note that this game isn't very fair. You don't think the game is rigged, do you? Uh. How do I check my blessings? Don't I have... Yeah, Gambler's Banquet. Dice Intervention. Hmm. I'll give it a go. I'm gonna regret it, though. Here we go. Uh, I guess I get rid of Heroic Sacrifice. I really don't care much about that one. The ogres shout and slam their fists on the table in cheerful rhythm while you prepare to roll the dice. Ten. I need eighteen. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how far I am to the top of the mountain. I don't want to get there and then, you know. Five.
Wait a minute. I lost. I had to get three sixes. I just realized until just now. I didn't realize that until just now. Whoops. Well, rats. Uh, I can't win that. Bad fortune in Ogre Roars. That you and the others laugh. You feel your drums. You feel your eardrums ringing. Eh. I don't think we should do that. I just realized, I was like, wait, 18 doesn't seem that high, but it's a 1 to 6 die, and 6 is the highest number. You know, 6 times 3, 6, 12, 18. I'd have to get 3 sixes, and I had kept a 5, because I thought I didn't need any more. Uh, yeah. Well, we can still get more blessings if we're lucky. Iron of the Veil finds you again, just as you begin your ascent. Oh. Mal, the bar turns around. You catch a glimpse of hope in his eyes. He avoids his gaze. Take, take the children uh, to the madman near Frostford. Uh, they run an orphanage. I fear it is no longer safe here. I've been lucky. It's just that my brain didn't really comprehend what I needed to go for. So my luck just kind of went everywhere. <laughs> I have not been lucky. Men this, become this, desperate. This is the stream. Women hold these mountains together, even through the worst. With little warning, a snowstorm sweeps in, fr in from the north. The snow whips in like against you like shards of glass. Here's your vision. Uh oh, here we go again. All right. God dang. <laughs> hey guys. It's the second time I got bad luck in the snowstorm. I've been lucky here and there. Remember when I hit that pinata and got all the money without getting my like fingers cut off from everyone else? That was fun. Now, I don't know. Ooh, that sword looks nice. The Cardinal Blade. Prepare for violence in every major direction. No, his balls. They fell on him. All right. Hey, we got some food. We were kind of getting low on it after going into the what should we call it? Malcolm's fortress uh, for firewood, saying this log is dry enough. Okay. So we got a campfire now. If we needed to camp. Let's go see what the store has in store. Uh, we don't want to leave yet. That would be bad. Why just leave the first option? Um, buy healing, sell equipment, buy equipment. What you got to sell, son? Ruby ring. Gain plus 10 max life while you have more blessings than curses. Oh, any number of rings can be equipped at one time. A knight sword. That is for dang gig. Compared to my gorg, I don't think that's good. Uh, Valiant Aegis. Defense adds plus one weapon charge. Eat less. Every third step does not consume food. 
Ooh. Wish I could mess around with my inventory from here. I guess this ring is pretty good. But money is... I mean, yeah, I'll just buy this ring. I already got a good weapon and shield. Valuable for purely financial reasons, if nothing else. Anything to sell? Not really. Alright, that's everything. I mean, food. Food's always nice. Uh, let's see. Three food for ten. I guess I could. I'll be. I don't know. I'll buy one crumb of food. I'm sorry? Did I do something wrong? It looked like they said that was free. Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't see a number on that one, so I just bought it. Oh no, another bliss. <laughs> Struggle to find cover. All right. I, it's either one of these two. It's probably that one, but I ogled this one for a long time. So I'm thinking it's three. All right, mate. The wretched smell of fish meat in the stale sweat alerts you to the presence of a bear rousing from the hibernation. The ferocious beast bears teeth, bears its teeth, swipes at you with giant paws. Ow! You flee the cave, having barely survived, barely survived the savage attack. Luckily, the pun has passed. It is it. Valley Clips forges. Oh, cool! We got more camp wood. He's really telling me I should just go camp. Give me one more like event and then I'll go camp. Okay, my turn. The mountain is unforgiving. You would not be the first to die upon its peak. Oh, shut up. I'm fine. I'm just bleeding out. Old witches. I have a fondness for them, but I would not trust them. Only back in I received word from my sister Hawk and have been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing potion I've whipped up is my best yet. Do you think it is good enough to take to the high priestess, she says, uh, blowing the steam off a simmering bowl of thick liquid? Remember how great it worked for you last time, says my close with a sideways glance. Yeah. Oh my god. I would have been really mad if I somehow just didn't get a blessing out of that three out of four. Or three out of one, or whatever. There's a one out of four chance I was gonna get a, a, a nothing. <laughs> anyway, second one. In combat, boost life to 75 when life drops below 75. Then discard this card. Oh, that's kind of scary. I might lose this blessing in combat if I'm not careful. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the high priestess will appreciate this one. You thank the old lady and continue up mountain for, for I just... Oh, there's blizzards everywhere. I'm gonna die of these blizzards, man. Struggle to find cover. Again? <laughs> Go! <laughs> I don't like the blizzards. The blizzards are that, my friend. I've lost every blizzard so far. I might, I'm losing this blessing. <laughs> Let's like play perfect. I took two steps and I immediately freeze to death. There's so many enemies! Berserker, fueled with rage and determination to destroy. Berserker's weapons are immune with ice or imbued with ice that slow their enemies' movement and attack. I hope this works. 
I rolled that. Oh. My special. I think my blessing got removed. There's quite a bit of enemies. That's a lot more enemies than the first game. Like, you might get like 12 enemies. That was like almost 15. And they might be like rats. But those were like really strong enemies. Game doesn't mess around now. We lost a blessing from that. All right, we gotta go camp or else we're dead. <laughs> Food for sale has been has refreshed. Equipment for sale is refreshed. Cook. Alright, trade. Buy equipment. Anything good? Nope, can't afford that anyways. That was terrifying. Eleven, three food for 11 gold? It was like 10 gold last time. I think. That's highway robbery. So let me check my inventory. What's the stronger weapon? Well, I'm using the Cardinal Blade. Okay. No new armor yet. Uh, tch -tch. I mean, the only thing we can really do is heal, I guess. Finish trading. Hey, that should be enough food. Change appearance. There's really nothing to change. Unless I got some sort of new cosmetics throughout the story. That'd be neat. But it didn't seem like I got any. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Maybe I did actually get some new cosmetics. I don't remember. Turn around. Nah. All the same stuff. Luck is just not on my side of these blizzard events. Alright. I'm gonna take another step and it's gonna be another blizzard. A grand opportunity oh. for you to take whatever pleases you Thank and you. go about your day. Long shot. What'd that do? Score the exact target value in a dice gambit to draw five equipment cards. Then discard this card. Oh no. I need to keep these blessings. That's actually not a bad one. And this doesn't go away either. So I get infinite gold. Well, 
that's actually good too. I get health when I get gold. But this one gives me 20 gold. Or it gets me up to 20 gold. At the end of each map. Eh. I think this one's better. Because I get life. Yeah, this one's better. Because we've been taking a lot of damage. <laughs> You leave with your new blessing. All right. Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. Why? The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men, not in the monsters in the darkness. Hmm. That makes sense. Westwind on Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor. It is a safe uh, harbor among the many dangers of a outer reaches of the empire its barkeeper sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat why upon your arrival he jolts straight up with and a smile almost breaks across <laughs> out across his face at last someone from the guild is here uh, these empire soldiers have almost ruined me before you can disagree the owner swings open the door or the saloon doors and pushes you inside oh okay what? Inside you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. A freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto a table and shouts above the noise. You lazy drunken deserts or deserters are done. The steward's guild has sent an enforcer here and now you all get to have now you'll have to get back to your post. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers raises arises with a slight sway. We got three days until our shift ends and we return to this physique. We're not doing any fighting unless they threaten to supply the ale. Right, lads. Uh, a ranch's, a raunchous cheer erupts and beer tankards smash together all around. So why don't you take your shiny ox badge and shove off? The barkeep returns to you. What are you going to do? I guess I'll threaten them. I'll threaten. You suggest with menace that soldiers shout report to duty or they'll report to the healer. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, this was a mistake. <laughs> For them? <laughs> One soldier spits at your feet but turns and leaves. The rest fo uh, file slowly up behind him. Okay. Why did I not? We got the token. Good luck. I used up all my luck for that one, Chief. Okay. I I was about to look away. I I, I was like, you know, it's 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 one. No. <laughs> There's blizzards everywhere. It's one. It's one. It was it's four. I meant four. I meant four. I saw it last second. It was at the top, like twice. Okay, the climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. When the howling winds case, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Okay, we didn't even have to deal with anything. Okay. Ugh, no bears, no, no evil barbarians. We, we just got out. We just got out. Children. <laughs> it's hard to conceive that either of us were ever such. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, he's just a small child, you over here. Uh, a deeper voice growls. We have to take him to the dungeons, or else he'll run straight to whatever northern clan he spawned from and show them where our outpost is. Uh, that's a shifty looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, <laughs> says Malikli. You throwing people? Anything? Okay, you're not. Nah, he can't do that. He can barely throw his guitar. You consider the boy's fate. Save the boy. I'll take the boy to the dungeon. I could take the boy to the dungeon, then we could just run off. I don't think they trust me. We'll just save him. Unsheathing your weapon, you demand they let the boy go. The Empire soldiers are unmoved by your threat. Well, good thing they're gonna die.
Like, it's been almost an hour, and I've died to like 12 blizzards. <laughs> I mean, my luck's finally going up again. I got like two good, like two lucks. I even got a huge success there. Oh, this doesn't look good. Soldier. The expansion of the empire requires constant uh, conscription of new blood. Soldiers block all attacks, greatly reducing their damage. Use bash to open them up for damage. These are the guarding enemies, okay. Once again, good intentions end up with people Hey, at least he caught his gun before he perished. Okay. We finished the mission for the Cardinal Blade. I love these sound effects. Okay. You check on the unconscious guards, uh, you notice the boy looking at you warily as if sizing you up. Ah! Are you serious? We roll all of that, actually. Really? All right, I think we lost. You can always try again, if you survive, of course. The boy disappears into the forest, and uh, soon you hear him uh, howl. The, and soon you hear him howl for a short distance. But from a short distance, the raiders come out of hiding, and the boy shouts, "Their outpost is that way." Oh. He was a bad guy. Stop the raiders and attack on the outpost. Ah. Uh, what do I do? He was actually a bad guy. Why are the raiders to attack? I guess. I'm a bit confused. They seem like bandits. Stop the raiders attack. Stop the raiders attack on the outpost. Allow the raiders to attack. What? All right, but that just means I'm fighting them. You stand in the raiders' way for bidding them to pass. All right, no one wins. I win. <laughs> I win the battle royale. You don't get to go to the raid area, and you don't get to guard it. I'm just here, or am I gonna be the one stealing the stuff in the outpost? I think I actually was the one that was stealing from the outpost. Cause that's where I got all that equipment, I think. New shield? Oh, this is my old shield. I just never equipped it. Passion of purification. Uh, Nile was wildly... Uh, Nilla was wildly invented. Invent... <laughs> Inventive craftsman. Also quite, quite mad. 
And I'm also quite, quite bad at talking to them. Alright boys, everyone is dead. Now what? I got fame for that? What? The sound of swords clashing draws out the guards from their outposts. After apprehending the northern raiders, the captain of the outpost hands you a reward. <laughs> what? Wait, then who were the, the other guards? But I can't... But I beat up the other guys. <laughs> I'm confused. I have That's little trust in artifacts that breathe myself. Yeah, it seems so. Damaging defense against corrupted defend causes thirty percent of your damage weapon to the attacker. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't want to wear this. I don't know why I grabbed it. I thought it'd be good. It doesn't even have defense on it. Do I win this token? I don't. I did it wrong, apparently. Lame. We still need two more blessings, and I don't know how much mountain is there left to climb. Now the confrontation. Uh -oh. Are you ready to face the priestess of her uh, people and drive the deal the Empire has requested? Oh, oh we lost or the will you turn and flee? <laughs> I'm running. Bye bye. We could gamble all our. We could gamble all. The t no, we can't. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Well. I think we lose. We, we don't have enough blessings. Uh, the winds clear the dark clouds to reveal the spire of Ritual House. Uh, Prouding from the summit. Uh, you press on through thick snow to find the wooden structure adorned with spoils of war. Alright, well, let's go in. As you enter the great hall, the towering arched doors swing open with a heavy creak. A giantess in a velvet robe enters accompanied by raiders. My eclipse bows low to the ground. My companion and I have been sent to discuss a truce between the Empire and the Northerners, my lady. So they send me a silver-tongued devil and his mercenary, she smirks. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. Uh, you kneel before the High Priestess. Only four blessings? What a pitiful effort. Uh, with a flick of her wrist, bolts of lightning strike you. For not bringing enough blessings, you have failed to win the gold token. You still have a chance to defeat this mission. I do. Even if imperfectly. The giantess claps, the sound ringing in the silent, cold hall. Ha! This small thing survived it. Impressive. But if you wish to speak to be... Uh, of treaty, you must prove yourself against my champion. Oh, there's still a way to win this. I, I mean, I got shot in the face like eight times by lightning bolts, but okay. A raider's charge towards you. I should be ready, so I could redeem myself if I beat a raider. Okay.
Maybe. I didn't get the token though. So I can't say I beat this story. We'll see what happens. A new enemy. Berserker champion. Fierce, loyal, and relentless champion of the high priest. Berserker's weapons are imbued with ice. Why do you always end up enraging the locals? You should let me talk. You're the last person that needs to be talking to locals. Oh, he hits hard. Got him. Goodbye. Whew. I pulled a password on everyone. Even though you failed to bring me your offering, I'm impressed with how you wield your sword. Now, hear my terms. The high priestess draws herself up, a towering figure draped in fur and wrath. The north will never bend the empire. Blood for blood for blood. Those are my terms, small one. Let your leader hear it and quake. With that, you make a quick descent to relay the message back to General Brandstorm. Dang it. We didn't get the funny coin I don't think being the high priest's champion mm. humble hammer berserkers created an extinguisher this is the high priest's champion we got all this stuff nice burning building photographer temple prayers we're sending Mount Fredris Fredris His supplies have been added more thingies we gotta do the story again then for convincing Ira to help my eclipse the stolen one it's another story for him being cursed at all we're clearing out the rusty razor friendly innkeeper take aim and uncover what lurks in iron peak Rana's remarkable fishing and unrest in iron. iron this is fun. All right. I guess we can do that story again. I don't know. Oh, that's cool. I got I got a silver crown for it because I beat it but didn't get the coin. Okay. That's neat. I guess I could try beating it. I mean, we know what to do. We just need to get blessings. Speed through it real quick, I guess. Get some new encounters up in here. Eh? Let's see. What are some good encounters? Uh, filters? Eh, I don't care about filters. Let's see. What are some interesting ones? Lost Boy. Let's see if we can finish that one again. Arm wrestling. That's always fun. Uh, some new ones. Rana's Remarkable Fishing sounds fun, and Stolen Ones is cool. Cartographer sounds neat. Burning Building caught my attention. Let's see. Got our idiot champion, Mallet Clips. Some new weapons could be added. Get rid of this. Berserker's Creed. I'll just add this to the thing. And I'll get rid of this. Wait, no. 
Oh no, actually I'll keep that there. Seems good. A ruby ring. Eh, yeah, that's very specific. Humble hammer. We don't know what to do yet, so we'll just grab it. My current equipment is all this. Oh, okay, so I have some of this equipment on me now. Okay, that's neat. And I can get more through, like, shopping and stuff. Alright, well, maybe I'll try the humble hammer then. Oh, and I own the extinguisher now. Okay. Cardinal blades would be pretty fun to use. Be very helpful. Oh, Winter's Bane's supposed to counter Northerners. Okay. There'll be strategy in this game, I suppose. I wonder what these, like, Brimstone and Platinum cards are for. Probably late game they'll be explained. Who knows? So for this mission, we'll probably want Winter's Bane. Since, you know... Alright. Let's see if we can't burn through this story again. If you fail to take tokens with you, you will lose the opportunity to open new cards. Even so, too many tokens can weigh you down and make your challenges harder. Why is that? These challenges I present you, each one will hone your skills and prepare you for our final conflict. This empire will fall under proper guidance once more. Wow, well, also a so great start. <laughs> Guardian Angel, optimally retry any chance cards gambit. <laughs> okay! Literally off to a great start. Blizzard. <laughs> Pre recorded stream. It's literally perfect. Ah! Perfect. Continue. All right. All right. Technically. Having the bad luck in that one's good because we get into a fight and we can save the person. And I think that gave me a blessing once. Or fame. I don't really know what fame is used for, but... I accidentally assembled. Be careful how one deals with old magic. That's two blessings already. I have to re-roll the dice game, okay. Alright boys, we speed running. Avalanche. Oh no, this is the one where the snow comes into play, but I think we get a blessing. Or I can just steal their weapon and walk off. Okay.
All right. Did a little bad in that fight. Near the end there. We got some equipment. We don't know what the extinguisher does. Fire inflicts 40% less damage. Any number of rings. Oh, you need fame to equip you, though. Huh. That's weird. Well, we'll run the Winter's Bane for now. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Seek shelter against a bluff, pressing close to the rock face. The avalanche roars overhead when the trembling stops. You're miraculously unscratched. Alright. To dig them out, I think that gives me. Okay, it just gives me fam. Okay, there, there, there we go. That's gonna be a trick with the hold, though. There's the stairs. Another blizzard. Good thing it. Yeah. Uh, redraw, please. I saw that. I saw that shift last second. Okay. At what I age lost does it. a child lose their innocence? When do they become the enemy? Also, there was no other option. It was just... Save the boy. That's odd. Maybe fame changes that scenario? That'd be weird. I want to see if I can, like, just speed through this and get that mission over with. Getting new cards is always nice. No enemies. Watchmen taken from the dregs of society, elevated to petty positions of power. Watchmen can block, greatly reduce incoming damage. Use the bash to open them up for damage. Once again, good intentions and people trying to hit me. Myrtle. Some equipment. Zerker's Power key. rage grants is often misunderstood. Huh, but I need six fame in order to even wear it. Oh yeah, we didn't... Oh, maybe he became evil because we didn't get the best card roll. I forgot about that. All right. Well, let's hope we get a better card roll this time. Okay. Got a pretty bad card roll. Or, you know, roll in general. 
gotta be kidding! I didn't want to reroll everything, but I kind of have to. Oh. I'll have the raiders to attack. Why not? Smoke trails from the outpost and you continue your journey. Bye, guys. Lizard. I'm gonna die to these blizzards, man. Whoops. Got him. I pressed the wrong button because why is such a weird one? Hey, the arm wrestling challenge. I want to join that again. Alright. Of course I flip him over the table. I won. I'm the best. That actually gave me fame too. Let's get out of here. The Empire has done its best to purge magic from within its borders, but there are many who practice it beyond them. Oh, no, I meant to re. <laughs> I'm pressing the buttons the wrong way. I wanted to reroll, but I forgot it's why, not be curses. Please, that. I'm sure the blizzards are intentional, but they are awful. Okay. Then press B. Not Y. We should probably set up camp soon. Ah! Oh! Free prayer. Gambler's banquet. We've been doing a lot of dice banquets. Any money would be nice. Beggars is nice. We don't have 20 gold. Uh, really? I, oh no, I didn't know I was at the top already. I think I lost again. <laughs> I just didn't get enough cards. That's unfortunate. I'll do this one off stream then. There might be a way around this. I could have swore I got a blessing from this event, but I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. That was the 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 the, 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 the avalanche. It's the one that gave me the blessing, not this. This is just an event you don't want to get you know caught up in. There's an avalanche, that'll get us a blessing. If we save the person. We, we have to get two more blessings or we lose again. <laughs> I almost got another blessing from the witch, but I, I missed out because I, I messed up the reroll. Hmm. Winter's Bane, used to defend those in need and kill uh, everything else. Who dares venture? The less than the amazing Balaclips! Uh, I think I lost that one blessing. The one with 
one where you get healed. So I might have just lost another blessing. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't know if I got healed or not. No, it seems like I kept it. I don't know what doubled it just now. Now the power is yours to use. Yeah, why not? Oh! That got us enough bl I don't know where that other blessing came from. We just got another blessing somehow. I'm actually confused. Let's just go. I'm actually you know what? It doesn't matter. We got we got two blessings from that event. We have enough blessings. I wanna go into that mystery thing, but I'm scared I'm gonna lose a blessing. So it's safer to just we're just gonna go. Okay. We have enough blessings. Oh no, I didn't set up camp. <laughs> I don't think that's an important mission. I hope it's not. I'll be actually mad if I lost because I didn't set up camp. I don't think that's important. Anyways, it's not for the token at least. Uh, thank you for the good books. Alright. Oh, for your sake, you have a decent offering. The offering will suffice, says the giantess. But if you seek to make a deal on behalf of the Emperor, uh, you must prove yourself against my champion. Okay. She's happy about the uh, offering, but I still gotta fight her champions. So I still gotta fight our champions. I could kill some of her units. For the sake of melee clips. He'll just be, he'll just be, you know. It only gets rid of a specific enemy, though. I guess. I mean, they weren't that hard to fight. They just took a long time to fight. So, I'll take out the Frost Trapper. I don't think they got rid of their champion, though. It's probably still there, and I'm just all alone. I mean, Mallet Clips' ability was pretty helpful. Like, if I messed up a block, it would, like, be like a get out of jail free card. There's a lot less enemies on the field. Just literally only like three enemies. You can get eye frames. Why wow, that insta killed him. I stabbed him in slow motion. Okay. You've done well. Now hear my terms. Oh shit, you killed Malaclips. Good job. High Priestess draws herself up and a towering figure draped in fur. Uh, the North will never bend to the Emperor. Blood by blood. Okay. So that's still the same dialogue. What? Hey, we got the coin this time, so we did it, right? You have the way of this challenge. It is early yet. Shrine. Ooh. Funny. Alright, let's do the next story. Maybe. So we got time to do another story. The Empress and the Emperor. Complete more challenges to unlock. Let's see here. The Empress. This game is merely the lesser game. 
It is not the true game of life and death, merely my model of it. Yeah, I yeah. must prepare you for the challenges you will face when we meet callous in truth. Earn fame in order to wield the legendary weapon, uh, Hertha's Ire. Villagers on the northern outskirts are under assault from northern raiders. Defeat the mighty shaman who is leading their raids. Gain enough fame to wield the mighty. Okay, kind of the northern raiders. Common. Okay. So this is like the tutorial, but also the challenges. Okay, because now it's gonna teach me how might works. That's neat, because the last one was teaching me how blessings work and how powerful they can be if used correctly. Because they actually got me more blessing. What's this one? It is not one game now, but a score. Each with its own nuance and delicate approach. Uh, thieves have stolen a relic from the Emperor's palace. The Empire are looking to hire adventurers to help cover his, uh, this and other items. Explorer, the road ahead may be long and trust you have enough food to avoid starvation. Bandit country, the wilds are a lawless land and perfect hiding place for thieves on the run. Come prepared. Pathfinder, use map reveal to help navigate the treacherous wilds. Wow. Okay, so this was teaching me about, like, food. So these are tutorial levels. I like that. Well, they also have their own little stories. Probably to the Empress next. Adventure and Endless. Unlock the Outland and Outlanders DLC. Ah. Endless and Campfire. Camp. Oh, change appearance. Okay. Well. It's been about. Eh. We'll start the Empress one and play halfway through, and maybe we'll just end it there. I guess that makes sense. And it around like, I don't know, two hours. That way we could say we did two hour stream. Because that hour flew by a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah. And then I don't know, I can edit some videos because I, Lord knows, I need to finish those. Complete the embers to unlock. Uh, unlock some DLC. You can get characters for DLC. That's neat. Encounters. Let's see, what kind of encounters we want? Uh, Lost Boy was very confusing. Shrines an encounter? Okay. That's an interesting looking encounter. It's a rare one, it's apparently. Let's do Man Eating Tree again. Uh, Temple Prayers is insane. Old Maiden's insane. Let's add some new ones. Winter Solstice. Unrest and Iron Peak. The Stolen Ones, we gotta add that one. Oh yeah, Rana. Uh photographer and the burning building okay weapons of choice we'll do the uh, humble hammer that one that one that one that one that one that one uh rings no ring extinguisher's fire is ruby ring was like food uh, actually i don't want this one i want ruby ring that can come in handy Wait, is this fill your deck with equipment cards? These are items you can acquire on your Okay, yeah. I was making sure these aren't just like my items. <laughs> these are just items that'll show up in the story. And these are my items. Supplies provide unique benefit that applies at the start of your journey. Are these limited? They don't seem limited. I'll take a. How much damage you do? 14. How much damage you do? 15. Perform a powerful sprite that does 250. This is an AoE that does 80%. Hmm. I guess I'll do the Knight Sword. More food could be nice too. Oh wait, no, no, no. Actually, uh, I guess I'll do food because right now this is the one with the story about the sword. I don't remember. Yeah, this is the one with the sword story, I believe. Oh, no, but the Empress does have, uh, whatchamacallit, because it shows you on the upper left, or upper right. I forgot. So that's neat. It gives you, like, tips on, like, which weapons you should try, or which weapons you should run. Bash. Deal additional damage to armor. Oh, okay. These icons make a lot more sense to me now. Okay. I don't know what the crown means. I think that's just the story. 
No, 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 it's fame. Okay. I don't think there's anything fame related. Okay, so we just need to get enough fame to wield this sword. And then raiders will also be a around too. Oh, we gotta beat a shaman. Okay. Here we go. In this case, the Empress is a symbol. A leader of the northern clans, but not their only one. Ooh. Mysterious. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. <gasps> the hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride. Your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. Raiders have destroyed our village. The elder of Talos explains in a hushed voice. Oh, they were sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this. He draws a large warhammer from his cloak. Hurt those higher. Tis the only weapon that will break the seal, protecting their equipment. He hands you the weapon, dot, dot, dot. Oh, that looks beautiful. A powerful force. Oh, yeah, I would love to use this. This looks great. Alright, so we need 20 fame to wield this bad boy. The weapon. Oh, the weapon is heavier than you imagine. Perhaps weighed down by some hidden magic, preventing you from wielding its, uh, to its potential. Uh, just get it. Get it. Just get it some rope. Tie it to the iron hammer and then just pull it with the string and then just force the enemy to walk into it just like tom and jerry them around like a tree and then like get mally clips to let go and then just hit them with the hammer <laughs> genius uh you require 20 fame to equip this weapon earn fame by completing encounters uh the elder looks straight into your eyes as though peering into your soul not all weapons are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may bear Arthur's ire. Do, do well to remember that. Ask some questions. What would you like to know? Make it quick. Uh, ask about the shaman, I guess. The shaman, a twisted creature with great power, never seen on the battlefield, but I hear she commands her warriors from her camp in the forest to the east. We've sent our warriors to find her, but a magical barrier prevents anyone from entering her sanctum. It is said that Hertha's ire can break through such a barrier. If she were attacked at her camp, these raids could surely be stopped for good. Huh, okay. You must find the courage to wield this weapon and defeat the shaman before the fifth village falls. The village needs a hero. The town of Bardon is surely in danger and must be warned. Bye, Grandpa. Oh. Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos not go in vain. He bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. Excuse me? What did you say? Fortune. Fortune. Oh, okay. My bad. When the hero runs in, the villain takes their time to bait their trap. Oh Be no. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. I walked one step, and now I'm being attacked by raiders. I rush to look behind you. Uh, it's all the warning you get that your life is in danger. You turn as uh, the crowds of northerners uh, bolo wrap. The cords of no northern bolo wrap around your body. Am I going to have to, like... Party of Northerners charge at you as you break free. You've been ambushed. Okay, we're just forced into fights. Uh, no perception check or anything. No dexterity check. No, no, no agility check. No fertility check. Just straight up going. Uh, I'm no happier to be here than you lot. <laughs> At least we're on the same boat. Yeah, clear. Yeah. 
No, his cocoa puff fell on his chest. His whopper fell on the ground. Big sad. Alright, that's 20 fame. With the raiders defeated, you uh, contemplate your next move. Uh, search for spoils, I guess. Oh. Oh. As you search for valuables, one of the northerners grab you with his last breath he runs his blade into your side. And because he stabbed me that made me lose 10 gold. Okay. Time passes and things change. The advances of the empire march on and mystery and magic falls further into darkness. Yet death stalks the streets of the city. Oh, also is the audio doing okay in the game? Is the uh, mesh between both fine? I forgot to ask. Seems to be audio coming out from both ends, so. Uh, a pale, a pile of smog. Believe that a pile of smog casts the city in a dull gray light as you navigate the narrow streets and back alleys of Iron Peak. Beware the Prince of Poisons calls a young boy in a short-brimmed cap. Short-brimmed or no brim? As he hands out leaflets to the uh, passing crowds, you start to read a discarded parchment uh, soddened by the damp uh, that clings to the cobblestones. Prince of Poison strikes again. Uh, another mass poisoning in the back streets of Low Town. Mayor raises a reward to 500 gold. Microphone's maxed out, so I don't know what the problem is. I could always try boosting it, but then it would be too sensitive, too loud. I don't know. Anyways, the boy approaches you as you finish reading. If you really hope to be safe, you best protect yourself. I have just a thing, and a bargain, and at a bargain price. Are you sure it's not just like, I don't know. I don't know why the audio is so quiet, it's weird. I don't know how to fix it, really. I guess boosting the gain would be the smartest option. Uh, it's on the computer itself. Ask about the Prince of Poison, ask about the disheveled children in the alleyway. Ask about protection from the Prince of Poison. The boy looks around to make sure nobody's watching too closely. They uh, discreetly take a small vial of colorless liquid from his pocket. This tonic was brewed from the fruit of a rare plant that only grows high on the northern hills. It will boost your strength, give you the edge you need to survive the poison. Uh, I like you, stranger. I'm a, f I'm a fair judge of character. Uh, and you seem like a good sort. For you, it's only five gold. Huh. I could try stealing it. I got my money stolen from it. I think I know why it's doing that. Hold on. It might be because my computer's doing that thing where it's like, oh, it lowers the audio when you know, you're on a video call. And maybe it's counting the stream as a video call. That would be stupid, but I wouldn't even be surprised. No, it's not doing that. It's, I have it set to do nothing, so I don't know what, why it's doing that then. That, that's really weird. I mean, I could look it up, but I don't really know what to even put in the search. But that's just my 
head scratcher right there. I thought it was like the audio just being muffled. And I'm at like that max volume too, so. And I'm pretty sure I'm at max gain as well, so. It's a mystery. I'm gonna try to steal it from him because I have no gold. The boy moves with surprising speed to keep it from your grasp. What is this? What is the this? The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. I don't like this. Oh! Nicely timed. Wow, you're fast, the boy says in admiration. I saw that from a dead goat header lying in a ditch though so i don't know if it'll actually do anything for you it did sound like he was like lying because like how would he even get that you know the bass audio huh so is it just my microphone's not that good for streaming or is it something else A sudden scream has you reach for your weapon and sends uh, the crowd into a panic. A band of armed warriors advances on a silver-haired woman uh, weighed down uh, with an impressive array of weapons. One of the men points menacingly at the woman, declaring, You sent my brother Mad-Eye back to the Brick-Knuckle prison, bounty hunter. Yes, the woman states, matter-of-factly, I did perhaps, uh, matter of fact, I did. Perhaps he should learn to accept rejection. Oh, I mean, okay. There, I fixed it. <laughs> uh, nobody crosses my family. The warrior rushes forward to attack. I'm speed reader, sorry. How do I fix that then? Hey guys, it's me, John the Quiet Streamer. I must be doing something wrong then. I have no idea. I'll look into it later. Uh, the warrior rushes forward to attack. Uh, fight to defend the woman. Join the men attacking the woman. Stay back and observe. Uh, I'll, I'll go defend the woman. The old woman says nothing as you move. Just stand by her while the, the thugs advance. <gasps> it's a new person. It's a new acquaintance. A new ally. No longer will we see Mally Eclipse, this stupid way. <laughs> we'll have a lady. She's like a, I don't know, pirate or something. Or a bounty hunter is what they called her. The, <laughs> the hunter. Uh, Katora. You'll find no charity here. When activated, uh, Katora fires her back holstered weapon and causes high damage to enemies in range. Stay close to charge her ability faster.
All right, I like it already. So just being near her just boosts her attack speed. Or I like her, her charge ability. The silver-haired woman uh, puts her gun away, saying, I didn't ask for your intervention. Uh, you check the fallen for anything of use, and as she turns to leave. So of equipment. A wee bit of shield. Better than my shield, at least. Uh, the garrison... I accidentally skipped some of the audio. Uh, the dialogue. The garrison captain rides up and addresses the woman cr uh, cruelty. Recruitly. Curtly. Uh, Katora causing trouble again. It's by doing your job that I make enemies like this. Katora responds sharply. The captain bristles at this remark but keeps his voice under control as he retorts. We have more important work to do uh, than chasing street thugs and petty criminals. And how goes the search for the uh, blah, 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 the Prince of Poisons, Katura asks. I hear another 12 died at the smelter anyway. Or yesterday. The captain's face uh, fills with anger, but Katura simply turns and walks away, adding, I have work to do. You know where to find me. The garrison captain screams orders for everyone to disperse, uh, then rides off down the street. The soldiers run to keep up with them, and you slip away before... Uh, more trouble starts. You leave the troubled town of Iron Peak with the impression that you've yet not seen all that it has to offer. Oh, we didn't win that interaction. Weird. Your supplies are running low. Make your choices carefully. We might die here. We don't have enough food. The road's ahead is blocking by an overturned carriage. Uh, and a woman. All right, well, a sister, I guess. Ain't got much else to do. Oh lord, we got some bad rolls here, chief. Better. The compact. Food, please. Thank you. And some fame. Let us see what the next town holds. I could turn back. Yeah, yeah, let's turn back. We, we, we don't know what's in this this one. General store. I, 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 I forgot. The general store has the exit right in front. That's that's one of my gripes. With this game so far is that some of the interface buttons are just and like some of the uh, text placements are not the best. Like why isn't purchase item at the front and then leave at the bottom <laughs> why leave at the top I mean I didn't have enough money to buy anything but still do not take lightly the mantle of fame being a Good figure Lord. is not without consequences everything is a burning uh, you arrive at the Baradon in the dead of the night to find it under an attack from raiders. Three of toil. As the village birds, three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. One calls out, Please help! We must stop these savages before all is lost. You draw your weapon and rush to their aid. Do I have the correct weapon? Yes and no. I mean, yes. It works in this situation, so yeah. It's weird that we didn't get that token for the new character. I must have did something wrong. I don't know what. Again, I guess I look up how to upper volume in Discord for streams or something. Shield. When skies are darkened by your enemies' volleys, uh, fight in the shade of this personal wooden bulwark. My sea and stock. 
So one of the farmers ended up dying there. Okay, you do that. Because a lot of people say my audio is a bit quiet. I have no idea why. I know I'm not talking too quietly. That'd be weird if I was. Huge failure is considered failure in uh, perception gambits. Oh, that's cool. The surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid and tend to their wounds. Thank you, adventure, they cry. You have helped save what remains of our people. But sadly, our village is no more. Please accept this small token of our gratitude. Food? Oh, I didn't say it was my mic. It's weird because I'm at max volume right now. The game is not, but... No idea. Uh, it is not time to celebrate. They are surely mustering to raid the town of Taran. Uh, they point further south down the river bank. If you are a true hero, you will surely save them. With another village lost uh, as the northerners, you set out for the next town without delay. Hmm. At what point does honor bend to pragmatism? The best way to help is doing these, it seems. Alright. You're not gaining a lot of fame, though. We're at 8 fame of 20. I mean, we're making progress. Axe for longer life, axe for supplies, axe for gold. I guess supplies is always important. Man eating plants. I can't say I blame them. Escaping mouth looks. More than cable will shredding you to pieces, but uh, at its base you notice some unusual fruit. If you throw something, you may be able to distract the savage mouth. Thus allow you to steal some fruit from it. Throw a piece of equipment to distract the mouth. You inspect your supplies for something suitable. You know, hurts us. <laughs> uh, I guess the shield. Do you want to throw your equipment at the plant? You launch your shield at the creature with a snap of its jaws. The item disappears. You pick one of the fruits while it's distracted. The fruit is especially delicious, leaving you feeling refreshed and vigorous. Ah! The creature curls up to protect the remaining fruit as you leave the area. So that's how that interaction works. Okay. More health. The longest night, and a symbol of the deepest matters. You would do well to attend to the things that happen here. Okay. On the longest night of winter, the townsfolk of the Sigil set up around a huge bonfire to celebrate the victory of lights over darkness. Uh, the one night, the Empire turns a blind eye to the outlawed use, uh, use of magic. Uh, you join a group of peasants close to the fire, taking a sip 
The woman beside you. The woman beside you uh, offers you a goblet. You politely ask, or you politely accept the pungent potion and take a quick swig. Uh, warmth rushes to your body and you fall into a deep hypnotic trance as you stare into the dancing flames. The townsfolk chant, calling on the mountain spirits in a flurry of snow. Spirits descend and join the uh, festivity. A curious white owl perches next to you and speaks. I sense a magical air about you. If you feel particularly inclined, will you share your blessing in exchange for longevity? Uh, you may trade blessing for max life. He nuzzles against your arm as he awaits your response. Uh, I guess you could take it. Weird. Weird for you to need this, but alright, fine. Give him one blessing. The creature lets out an ear piercing squawk. That one. Get rid of it. A tingling sensation flows through your body. More health. You gaze into the flames as the festivals continue around you. You wait to find yourself in a stable nestled among a herd of cows. On your way out, you spot a few unconscious empire guards huddled together outside the stable. Huh. Was it like a demon in disguise? Weird. If you fall in a trap once, you may blame error. To fall in the same trap again smacks of foolishness. How am I supposed to avoid them? Both mic and game and everything. I mean, mic and game is everything, but that makes sense. That's just so weird to me. <laughs> We're not searching for spoils. So we lost our money because of that last time. Children are always the ones to suffer most. They have an excess of capacity for it. He all has a plan to you. Uh, it is worrying brief. Uh, these forts are interconnected, so even if we defeat uh, one lot of guards, uh, they're bound to call reinforcements. We'll have to get in and out quick. Uh, defeat two steel monster cards within 60 seconds. The old were old ever existed, and they don't like that. Okay. Oh no. I. It added another four. What? I can't beat all that in a minute. 
How about these, like... Final monstrosity falls. Gurgling, Malik Flips gazes at the bodies with a troubled look on his face. This one is wearing a necklace. Looks like a family heirloom. Uh, the bard usually found of looting and stealing doesn't allow you to touch the necklace. If you peer up at the access tunnel, it's set too high into the wall. You won't be able to go back that way. Uh, find a way out, I guess. Oh, great. Immediately shout comes from above. The rats are back again. The clip reaches from a heavy lock upon the cage's gate. It sizzles. He drops it quickly by Phaedra's skirts. That burns. He presses a long metal implement into your hand and steps back. You uh, tentatively touch the lock. It doesn't burn. You attempt to pick the lock. Oh. Whew. With a click, the lock pops open and clatters to the floor. That's a terrifying. That was a lot scarier. <laughs> Okay, children, man. Eclipse awkwardly pats one of them on the head. Your mother and I are going to kill the bad men. We stay here unless we die. In which case, you're on your own. The children nod and them with terror. You sneak up. You sneak up the stairs and survey the scene before you. Uh, the soldiers mill about the fort's court, uh, courtyard. Man, Eclipse draws a spell book. I have an incantation that will. Uh, convertly teleport a few soldiers far away from here, potentially to their deaths, but I'll require some of your blood. Okay. I don't want to fight that many soldiers. Why do you need my blood, actually? Ah, these are spells I rarely use. I'll need blood magic uh, to be able to perform them. The bard notes uh, your raised eyebrows and clutches his arms defensively. Not me. I'm a gentle flower. Besides, look at you. You're simply bursting with blood. Fine. Your blood drips onto the rune lined page. The wheel is one of my favorite innovations. Oh. It combines many different elements of our game into one. Mali Eclipse. The shadows oh envelop a group of soldiers. <laughs> Move faster next time. Shush. What's wrong? Uh, shadows envelop a group of soldiers playing uh, pebbles. <laughs> they trap the stones guiltily before vanishing into the into thin air. Malaclips draws a spell book. I have an incantation. Oh. Oh, I can just get rid of more enemies. All blood magic. Well, this was a bad idea. One more try. Your blood drips onto the wood line page.
Okay. Right, let's fight those soldiers. Stride into the courtyard and draw your weapon. Striding. Shouts of intruder echo around the fort. Uh, no. Uh, well, it was my audio. Let's see. Right now, OBS is just like low green. And I'm barely green. Like. Uh. That sound I just made just got into the yellow. <laughs> barely. Musketeer. Deadly at a distance. Only the most skilled are recruited into musket the musketeer. The musketeer. Musketeers fire heavy attacks. Uh, defend with the shield. Or defend with the shield. Else evade for your life. With the blare of a horn, sorcerer scores the empire. Guards fill the courtyard, manacle slings a crackle, of blinding sparks, and he pulls you towards the exit in your, your escape. Come, we cannot hope to save the children now. We can only hope to return later. Ah, we were close. Just that old ass bandit. Well, we'll end it there. We nearly saved the children. From the guards. And I almost at 20 fame too. Well with that. We'll call it. <coughs> Thank you for watching. Hands off hey too. And maybe we'll play some more later. Gotta get this audio stuff fixed. Because this is ridiculous. Oh, I was just saying, I'm ending the stream. It's been two hours. Okay. Gotta get this audio issue finished before the next time I stream, hopefully. Bye. Oh, uh, I was trying to say that the audio, um, it barely even gets into yellow. Like, I have to actually, like, scream to get the audio into yellow. Or shout quickly. It barely gets it to the yellow. So, like, I'm just stuck in green. I'm just, like, pretty much mid-tier green. The only time it should be red is if I'm, like, screaming to the top of my lungs. All right.